So, so far, we've looked at linking documents from OneDrive and putting them onto the VLE, uh, updating those links so any changes are automatically made. But I guess the last one is, and the most daring, is how about uploading a file and linking it to the VLE and making it editable so that actually students or staff could alter the nature of that file. And I'm sure you can think of lots of different ways that you could do this. And of course, this, I guess, is all about collaborative learning. Well, let's see how it works. I'm on my OneDrive account and I've uh, uploaded a file called the VLE, how might you use it? And it's a document which is going to ask staff simply to go in and put down some ideas about how they might use this to improve learning. So as we've seen before in the past, we need to share this and we do that by simply clicking or moving our mouse over the file, clicking on the uh, rectangle and then going to share as we do before, getting the link and here is the difference. Rather than going to view only, I want to go to edit. So in other words, I'm allowing people to be able to edit this document. So anyone with that link can make changes. So let's click create link. And of course, here's this long gobbledygook hyperlink. So let's shorten it. I'm now going to copy it. And in my VLE, uh, I've already made some text that I'm going to add this link to. So let's go to edit the page. Let's go and highlight my writing. And let's go to the link, paste in my link, and click open link to a new window, and press done. So I've now got my link, just as before, to a file. The only difference now is that that file can be edited. So let's see what happens. If I click on here, I'm now going into OneDrive Live. Now, a couple of things that are important. One, I don't have to sign in. So again, I'm able to edit this document even without a OneDrive account. Why? Because you'll notice now there's this feature here that says edit in browser. If I click on it, I now open up Word Online. And what I get is a sort of cut down version of Word, but with pretty much all the features that I need. So I can now click on here and add to this document. So I could type in science and put in online demonstrations made by taking videos or uh, adding YouTube. We could also um, put questions to answer below the YouTube or below the video using the quiz feature. There we go. Let's just change some of the styles. So I'm going to make this red. In fact, let's just go the whole hog. Uh, let's change the style to something different. Um, century Gothic. There we are. Maybe make that bold too. Now, one of the things that's very interesting is because we're online, I don't know if you can see that bit there, saving is automatic. So there is no save feature. So I'm now going to go and close this. And if I now go back to my link and click on it, to open it again, I'll now notice the changes that have been made. And what will be really interesting is if you leave this document open and find two or three people editing it at the same time and see what happens. What you probably need to be careful of is making sure that people write in certain places. But there's lots of potential for creating editable documents, not just Word documents, but Excel files, possibly for lists of experiment results, maybe the class could share, uh, PowerPoints too, for collaborative work. And that's done through the link. And in later videos, I'll show you what it looks like when you embed the document and you can actually edit it online in the VLE, seeing the changes as you go along.